You're listening to American Medicine Today, presented by the Bonatti Spine Institute, featuring the internationally acclaimed inventor of the Bonatti Spine Procedures, Alfred Bonatti, MD. Once again, here are Dr. Bonatti and your host, Kimberly Burmell. Thanks for joining us again on American Medicine Today, brought to you by the Bonatti Spine Institute. I'm Kimberly Burmell, joined by world-renowned neuro and orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Alfred Bonatti. As well, Ethan Euchre and Jeff Wagstaff are here. Before the break, we were speaking with patient Angela Melius, and she was talking about um, how she was diagnosed with some thoracic issues, and she suffered with them for many years. And she went to a highly prestigious school in Georgia, and apparently they told her that there was nothing, nothing that they could do for her except transfer her to some sort of pain management uh, group. And that left her... um, Depressed. Very and, depressed, suicidal. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. in other words, mm-hmm. she was told by one of the, the best, mm-hmm. in quotes, medical schools in the country that there was nothing that could be done yes. for her and that she was just going to have to manage her pain, live the rest of her days in pain. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was able to get in touch with the Bonatti Institute, mm-hmm. had um, a couple of procedures uh, done, and even referred her brother to yes. Dr. Bonatti. He's apparently pain-free. Angie, you still there? Yes, I am. Okay, so just uh, kind of bring us up to speed as to how your life is nowadays after having this done. Being told, again, that you would always live your entire life, the rest of your days in pain. How are you feeling now after seeing Dr. Bonatti? I feel great. We are living in the mountains of Georgia now, and we can go hiking. We can go uh, camping. It's it's wonderful. My yard, it's, it's I look forward to gardening. And all I have to say is to anybody that's out there in pain, don't take no for an answer. Check Dr. Bernardi. He is a miracle worker. He's giving me my life back. He is my miracle worker. And Dr. Bernardi, thank you so much. I owe you my life. Thank you for giving it back to me, making it worthwhile living, and being able to do the things that I really enjoy to do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Angie. Uh, the, I... I appreciate you taking the time to share your touching story with us. Um, you know, you're you're not the only one that has suffered in that way. I'm so glad that Dr. Bonatti was able to help. Continue to live pain-free, Angie, and uh, I'm sure Dr. Bonatti wouldn't say this. I'll say it for him. Uh, let's continue with those referrals for any other family members that may be experiencing Sure. Pain. I have my sister-in-law possibly coming in also. There you Aww. go. See? Every, everybody thank experiences you, pain. Thank you, y'all. All right. Thank thanks, you. Angie. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Jeff? It's just amazing that we have spoken to so many people from different walks of life, from from a lady like Angie who was very active to construction mm-hmm. workers to we actually had a physician here a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And the one common theme through all of these patients is they had pain that really changed their lives, that took their lives away. And to hear these people get their lives back and to see it is just absolutely unbelievable. That's amazing. Um, well, moving on, we have uh, a Dr. Kenneth Shane. He's uh, an oncologist with the Moffitt Cancer Center in North Tampa. And uh, for those that don't know, Tom Brokaw, beloved anchor, well, you know, to most people, I would say. Very well respected. Yes. Very well respected in the news industry, 74 years old. He was diagnosed with uh, multiple myeloma. I'm probably saying that wrong. Myeloma. Myeloma. It's a type of cancer that affects the white blood cells in the bone marrow. Um, and actually, uh, Mr. Brokaw, we, he runs a segment here on uh, the flagship of uh, 970 WFLA here in Tampa. We have a a clip that we'll get into here in a minute, but uh, we wanted to bring Dr. Ken Shane on again from the Moffitt Cancer Center to kind of just talk about Brokaw and his prognosis Mm -hmm. and uh, what the future has in store for him. So uh, welcome to American Medicine Today, Dr. Shane. How are you this afternoon? I'm doing very well. Thanks so much for having me and giving me the honor to talk about Mr. Brokaw and his disease, specifically multiple myeloma. It's a great so, pleasure. Thank you. You got it. So tell us a little bit about this disease, how one gets it, how one can prevent getting it, and what the prognosis is for uh, Tom Brokaw moving forward. Sure. I mean, there's, there's a few things we need to kind of think about. One is that obviously we don't know uh, Mr. Brokaw, all of the details of Tom Brokaw's disease, so we can't get too far into speculating on his outcome, et cetera. But what we can do is talk a little bit about multiple myeloma at first, which is is a disease, as you said, of a specific part of your immune system or the white blood cells in your body called a plasma cell. And these are cells that live in your bone marrow, which is that soft part inside your bones where all the red cells, white cells, and plates are all made. Um, And what happens is one of these cancer cells, or one of these cells, a plasma cell becomes and starts growing out of control and becomes a cancer within the bone marrow, taking up space. 
and causing significant issues uh, in terms of your ability to make the other cells, the white cells that fight infection, the red cells that carry oxygen, and the plates that help you clot, and they get pushed out, and those cells drop in numbers. You become anemic, so you become fatigued or tired. Um, uh, but myeloma does more than just that, unfortunately. It can also cause significant issues with bone health. So your bones become weak, and they can fracture. Uh, it can cause kidneys to fail, and it can cause uh, electrolyte abnormalities, like hypercalcemia or high calcium levels. It can cause a number of problems, including mental status changes, arrhythmias, and, and the like. Uh, most people present with fatigue or sometimes bone pain or infections because of this disease, and that's how it's identified. And others uh, get found kind of spuriously. They're, they see their primary care physician, and they have some abnormal labs because these cells also make an abnormal protein that you can find in your blood. Hmm. Now, it is a disease that typically, um, to kind of give you a feel about what the disease is, it, it targets mostly people who are in their 60s, 70s. The median age is about 69 to 70. Um, about a third of patients are over 75 years old. That doesn't mean it doesn't uh, afflict people who are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, but to a much lesser extent. Uh, it's a disease that we really don't know what causes it. Uh, there are a lot of things that have been linked to it, uh, including high doses of radiation. So think about Chernobyl, Hiroshima, those kind of things. Uh, there are some studies that suggest maybe certain organic solvents, uh, detergents might be linked to it. Uh, there is a study that suggests that the younger individuals at ground zero after 9-11, it might have a slightly increased risk, but again, nothing concrete. And we continue to try to figure out different ways in which we can link either genetic issues or not. Uh, again, generally, it's also a spontaneous disease, meaning that it isn't really passed from family member to family member, although sometimes it can be. Um, to talk about what Mr. Brokaw is probably going through is that he was actually diagnosed back in August. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably been through therapy out at Mayo Clinic. I think he's in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Mayo Clinic there receiving great therapy from those folks. Um, but the disease is, one, it's a serious disease. It's a disease that we don't today have a cure for, um, and so it is a mortal disease. But the good news in that setting is that we've made great strides in the last two decades or plus that allowed us to give very good drugs with, that are very, very efficacious or effective in terms of controlling disease and provide long-term great outcomes. Excellent. Hey, Dr. Shane, if uh, you don't mind hanging on just for a quick minute, we'll extend it into the next break. I have a clip of Mr. Brokaw addressing um, you know, his state of mind and things like that. Um, I also think, having heard the clip, it's a good message for people who are have cancer and are going through cancer. Um, and we'll just quickly pick your brain as far as um, you know the prognosis and, and just get a wrap-up, okay? So if you don't mind hanging on... Doc, Absolutely. Dr. Shane from the Moffitt Cancer Center, uh, Cancer Center. Kimberly, how do people get in touch with the Bonatti Spine Institute? Well, if they're local, they can come down to US 19 and Hudson Avenue. Give us a call at 855-267-0482. We'll hear more from Kenneth Shane on the flip side of the break. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. The Bonatti Spine Institute is proud to announce more than a 90% success rate in over 45,000 patent-protected spine surgical procedures. Call us today at 855-267-0483 or visit our website at bonatti.com. All my pain is gone, gone, gone. Today I am totally pain-free, nothing, no after effect. I'm pain-free and I have had to take any pain medication. Today I am pain free for the first time in over a year and it is so awesome. I only wish I'd known about it earlier. Right now I am completely without pain. Sitting here in this office right now, pain free, eager to enjoy the rest of my life. I am feeling great. I feel 100% better like a new person. Today I feel absolutely fantastic. It's just incredible the relief I feel right now. Today I'm completely pain free. During the procedure I literally felt the pain melt away. It was fantastic. I feel so, so good. It took care of my headaches instantly. It's incredible. 
It's really incredible. You gave me my life back. It's just wonderful. I feel fantastic. It is just absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping to be climbing hills in a few weeks. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail.